A word for our listeners. Season 2 of Masks of Nyarlathotep is set in the 1930s and 40s. We will be using terms and sayings from those times, including some that could be considered offensive. It's not our intention to offend. We merely wish to offer as accurate a view of the time period as possible. Welcome to Masks of Nyarlathotep, a Nerds Domain gaming podcast. Join us each week as our commandos uncover the corruption of the mythos in World War II. Starring Johnny Brown, Ed Maudlin, Chris Dunn, and Matt Quiet, with John Quiet running the table as Keeper. Eldritch evils and crazed Nazi cultists await you just beyond this music. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Nurse Domain Presents Masks of Yarlathotep! I'm Matt and I am here with John. Hello. Uh, are you on the mic, John? Hello. There you go. And Ed. Hi. And Rob. Hello. Uh, so John, uh, we're going to find out who the evil person is because I'm pretty sure it was me, but I guess it's Jack since we left off on that uh, wonderful cliffhanger. Ooh, yes. Yeah. You're about to prick my finger with a dirty needle. Well, it's a burning needle now. Well, yeah. yeah, okay, it's a burning needle. Don't worry, damage. you didn't get my blood. I used my dag- my knife. Okay, all right. That's a good point. I um, hadn't considered that. <laughs> <laughs> I could have infected you. It would be really bad if there were fishermen about. <laughs> all right, so yeah, no, y- she... Your, your knife may have tainted the blood sample. Oh. Mm. Yeah, she didn't even clean it out, did she? She just she left the stuff in there. No, she, she wa- cleaned it out. Yeah, she used water, no <laughs> soap, no bleach. No peroxide, just a little bit of water. It makes the That's magic fine. better. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like a cast iron. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get the flavor of all of the other bloods that you've uh, that you processed in there. Yeah. 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 So she give it uh, a nice crust. <laughs> 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 Go ahead, John. I'm sorry. She pricks uh, Jack's finger and who you call and a prick? has the it drops the blood into the mixture of. Uh, herbs and whatnot, unidentified plant material, uh, spits in it and swishes it around with her finger. How did I, wait a minute, I missed the spitting part earlier. Yeah. 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 That's okay. what Rob was like, that's sanitary. Uh, yeah, okay, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah this, yeah, this whole thing is very sanitary and medical. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Where, where are the leeches? Well, she did get her med- medical degree from the uh, first university of uh, the f- forest spirits. Sure. I mean, you know. I thought the forest spirits were their mascot. Uh, I don't know. I think it's the wolves that are their mascot. Do they have a football team? They are, in fact, the forest spirit forest spirits. It's a little confusing. Wow. Okay. That's very strange. Yeah. They're more of an academic institution. Go ahead. What were you saying, John? Yeah. So she, like I said, she swishes around a finger, kind of looks at it, um, says it's not you, and rinses out the... uh, the container, the bowl, and... Uh, what, what's she rinsing it out with? Uh, she has a spit. canteen of water. I, um, More a, spit. A, a canteen of water. Come on. Yeah. It's, it's, it's cat pee. She's washing it out with cat pee. We all know At this. At least that has ammonia in it. Fair enough. See? Yeah, that would have some cleaning yeah. ability to it. Yeah. So, so sh- she's going to go through our men. <laughs> Boiled yeah. cat pee. Yeah. Uh, it was asked that the, the men who came in from the, the most recent transfer were to go first. So she... And you sent out... Um, Lieutenant Birkenshire to do that. Um, meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, Wing Commander, do you want to <laughs> have your uh, test done, or do you want to wait until you're well. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Have, have we gone through the rest of the men, or are they not? No, 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 no. no, no they're, 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 coming. they're getting they're, gathered. They're, they're they're being. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so she, um, you know, uh, does you know prepares the. The supplies does the you know, offers up the needle to I get the blood. W- uh, I'll use a lighter on it first to clean it. Wow, okay. Jack. Ooh, wow, Jack. Yeah, you're the one, the last one that had the the needle in your finger. Yeah, I don't want. I, listen, what's he this saying is, about you, Jack? Sh- this is not about clean or not clean. I don't want to share a bloody needle with any Unless of you. Say, should we put, do a PSA about sharing needles? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's nineteen thirty nine. It's perfectly fine. It's safe then. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Doctors were still prescribing <laughs> cigarettes in nineteen thirty nine. So true. yeah, everything's true. fine. It's true. Everything's fine. 
<laughs> well, yeah, it, it wasn't invented yet. But yeah, so I'll clean the, clean the needle off. And okay. Um, so yeah, she, uh, you know, gets your blood, does the same process, mm-hmm. and says it's not you. Okay. And um, yeah, slowly one by one starts working yeah. her way through the men that you present to her. Let as those guys get Hep C. It's not my problem. And uh, yeah, um, she works through the men that you brought with you. Uh, Leverage and McKenzie, and clears them one by one. Okay. Okay. It's the priest. So. And she's ready to, you know, ready to move on to the men that were already here. Okay. Um, and yeah, so, you know, it takes probably a, a good solid hour. Uh, let's go two hours to uh, get this, get through the whole li- uh, List of men. Yeah, I mean, because you really don't want to rush the whole spitting in a cup and stirring yeah. it with the finger process. Right. How much spit does she have? Seriously, she's got to be taking sips off of that canteen, which I <laughs> hope now is not cat piss. <laughs> it's wolf piss. For her sake. <laughs> now, that's healthy. Yeah. There's lots of vitamins and minerals in it. This won't. This definitely. We can't stretch this out to four hours, John. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were you saying, John? So she goes through these people? So she, yeah. Um, at which point? At um, which point? Yeah, so she's gone through all the men. Uh, are you, Have you stood there and observed the entire time, yeah. Wing yep. Commander? Okay. Um, Just thinking this is crazier and crazier every time she yep. does it. Yep. Yeah, so. I have tea bring, brought in. Yeah. <laughs> Something so she can rejuvenate her spit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do like that while. while Jack is over there thinking, wow, this is getting weird. I'm over here thinking, wow, we're really narrowing this down. What am I going to, am I going to have to shoot this guy? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm totally expecting that they're like, I'm ready for it. This is going to happen. Okay. Yeah. So sev- several of the men do object to, you know, being subjected to the, to the witchcraft mm-hmm. and bleeding, but you talk them down. Yeah. It's like, come, um, come on, guys. This yeah. Is it's an order. We all got to do it. It's an order. Yeah. I don't. Um, I don't know that they would. Ha- but, but would they have to follow that order? I don't. I don't think that you could. I don't think that you could order them to to have uh, a blood test under these circumstances. Yes, you could because uh, I think all, most of that was covered in the Geneva Convention, which I hasn't know. happened yet. Yeah. Also, which hasn't happened. also, yeah, it would it would fall to the unit medic, which is you. Yeah, you prick your that. finger. Shut up about it. I mean, it's not like we're doing anything other than pricking their finger. If we were like, you know. Putting tubes in there or something, I probably have a problem with it. Slippery, in their slippery finger? slope, Captain. Yeah. Slippery slope. Hey. Go ahead. You were saying, John, that they, uh, you know, comply one by one. It's a it's a long process, um, and you're getting down uh, to the, the the last three men, and are are coming in uh, as the as a group is about ready to leave, and they are followed by Lieutenant Berkshire or Lieutenant Berkshire. Um, and he tells you that one of the men is missing. Uh, you can't find him, or that he can't find him. He had posted him on guard duty out front, uh, as you had requested, um, to keep any of the villagers from causing a fi- uh, fuss. Mm-hmm. Uh, Didn't he have a buddy? Weren't we posting two at a door? I don't know. That's Berkenshire's fault. Um I said post guards. I didn't say post a single guard outside like a fool. Uh, I mean, guys wandering off. You think Burke, maybe this is why he's only a, l- a lieutenant. Has, yeah. has he had the blood test done yet? Yes, Berkenshire is gone. Okay. Um, and he was cleared. Uh, when was the last time this man was seen? By you guys. Well, Berkenshire gave him the orders to stand guard. So two uh, hours ago. So two hours ago. Uh, the last time you saw him was when he drove you back into town um, from, you know, your wolf hunting trip. Um, was he one of our guys? No, he was one of uh, okay. uh, Llewellyn's guys. Uh, <sighs> Lieutenant, you will need to personally take three men with you. Write this down if you're not getting it. Use the buddy system. Yeah, since we can't use the buddy system when guys are disappearing, I want you to <laughs> verify <laughs> where all of our vehicles are, and if any of them are missing, I need reported that reported to me immediately. And we need two left-handed people and two right-handed people so you can hold hands at all times. I wasn't going to go that far, but he's in charge. Wow. 
Really getting tired of my men disappearing. He he's in charge. Maybe they could tie a rope around their waists. Uh, the lieutenant says, no, no, sir, I did. I ordered two men to guard the Where's door. Where's the other guy? He's right here. And he points to the guy that he, that, uh, this unnamed corporal Where that he had. Where, I, I'm going to very heavily put my hand on his shoulder and say, and like, wham, just, son, when was the last time you saw him? We were standing guard just like the, just like the lieutenant and ordered. And wandered off. I, we were talking, just talking about nothing, doing our job, watching the town. I turned to my right because there was a cart moving down the road, just, you know, just seeing what the noise was. And when I looked back, he was gone. And when was this? Like a minute ago, like when the lieutenant came to get us. Lieutenant, take men. Go check the vehicles. I don't want those leaving. Okay. And they, do you want these two men to be checked out? Yes. Take two other men to go check the vehicles. Yeah, we might as well. That they're cleared. already here. Two men that we've yeah. cleared. Okay. They're already here. We might as well get them yeah. taken care of. So he, yeah, he runs off uh, with the Have two guys. Have you guys seen John Carpenter's The Thing? I'm kind of feeling like this is like. We're not that remote. The end <laughs> but of yeah. But I'm feeling a little <laughs> bit like it's that, it, it's that is, moment at the end. This is Max, Masks of Nyarlathotep, mm -hmm. not at the Mountains of Madness. Yeah, it's a slight difference. But slight close. Difference. But okay. close. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, so people yeah, disappearing, and we think one of them's the monster. And yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, he um, he goes goes off to check the um, vehicles. Vehicles. The motor pool, if the you motor will. Pool. Yes, there's a, there's a word for it. And uh, what do you guys do in the meantime? Just stand here and watch these guys get checked out. Uh, while they're getting checked out, I'm gonna take a step away from them, not leaving the room, but like. To talk to the wing commander and mm -hmm. Jack. Okay, sir. We, if if the vehicles are here, we need to get men on this immediately. Yes. And I don't trust, um, I don't trust our non-coms right now. Something's going on. Yeah. So let's finish up these two, and then we will start patrolling. Okay. I may have each of you take a few men out. I was thinking the three of us, like, nothing against the lieutenant. I, I know I just gave him a hard time. Yeah. But uh, I'd rather he be here. He's at least good enough to keep the fort. The, all the other issue is once we have the last two of these men done, it's been two hours, and the priest is going to expect to see yes. you, and, and we don't need another riot. Yes, that's why I was going to send the two of you out. Oh, I get you. With We're on the same play yeah. page. I was okay. going to plan to have you two go out separately and take some men with you. Okay. But every time we do that, we lose men. Yeah, well. Well, the one time we've done that, we've lost men. But, you know, I one's know a pattern. <laughs> one's a pattern. <laughs> I don't know. We, lo we lost them on the wolf hunting trip. Yeah. True. When we met uh, Hare, what's his name, out in the other matching cabin. Dooster House. Dooster House. Thank you. Like okay. I said, Hare, what's his name? I assume they, they clear. Yes, they do. Okay. okay. Uh, Frere, Frau... Coffin. Yep. Um, what would should we expect from this evil if we had, if we um, confront it? Um, I don't know its true nature, but I imagine that I don't know its true nature yet. That's what I was hoping to learn now or here. But it's uh, it's strong. Are we going to be able to kill it with conventional weapons? Maybe. Oh, that's a that's reassuring. Solid vote. Yeah. Um, like I said, if I knew exactly what it was, if um, it is a creature of the night, if you can catch it before uh, the sun goes down, I think you will have a better opportunity or better chances. Frau, have you been experiencing any strange dreams lately? I have not. What dreams? I'll describe the dreams. The I will... Jack, would you like to describe your dreams to her? <laughs> Yellow-eyed, mysterious shadow dude. Sometimes giant and bulbous. I don't recall him being bulbous. I thought one time he was like... One time he was, I think, I mean, in our modern vernacular, hulked out might be oh, a okay. better term. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There, He was more bestial than man. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Swole. Yeah, swole. Yeah, there's a, there's a very modern, very modern term. term. Swole. Swole. Uh, she, uh, she says, you, uh, your man is being ridden by a demon of some kind. He is possessed. Look for the one with the saddle, then. <laughs> Um, Something about Satan riding bareback. I don't know. Anyway. So how do we unsaddle this demon? The easiest way would be to kill the man. And that will keep the demon from finding another host? Possibly. You have more than one man missing. Uh, we're up to three now. And three kids. Wait, is it? Th- I thought it was four. No, this is the third. No. Okay, I thought we took two people with us with the wolves. Yeah, yeah, one of them is the one that just ran off. Okay, okay, yes. Yeah, you lost a man on the return trip from yep. the town. The guy that is now missing told you about them. You took him out to hunt and on your okay. first look. So it's pretty clearly this guy. Yeah. If, in fact, demons are real. Right. In the, in the metagame, yes, it's this guy. Yeah. And demons are real in the game. Obviously, uh, uh, Commander Llewellyn is still on the fence. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Captains McKenzie and, and Loveridge. Loveridge. How do you not remember Loveridge? I, sorry, I, I don't know because I'm remembering all these other names. <laughs> so you guys. Matt is now making really weird faces at me. <laughs> so you guys are looking for Williams, Wells, and Halford. Yes. Is Halford the one who just went missing? No. Honestly, out of character, I cannot remember. Williams is the one. I'm pretty sure Williams. Wells. Wim, yes. Williams is the first one. Wells, Wells was, was the, the driver. No, Wells was the second one. We were looking for Wells because he was. Okay, then Halford is the one that just okay. ran off. Okay. Uh, listeners at home, if we are incorrect, please write us in yeah. uh, Twitter, Facebook, and email. Those are all options. Tell John that we are all wrong. Yep. And that Ed is too tall. <laughs> And that Ed is it's too tall. T- it's not even the tallest one in the room. Yeah, but, but I'm not allowed to make Ed make fun of Ed because of other things. Oh, okay. This, this, <laughs> this is that's a visual joke. Yeah. In, a, in an auditory medium, that's awesome, which makes it even funnier. That's true. For yeah. people who don't know at home, Ed is about five two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and five two and four hundred and seventy five pounds. All right. <laughs> so we're looking now. All I can see is Oompa Loompas <laughs> rolling his purple body. <laughs> out. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry. So we're looking for uh, Halford. Do we have a rank or a? Uh, a I've corporal. got corporal. Corporal Halford. Everybody's corporal. No, no privates in this outfit. <laughs> That's all what right. I wrote down. So I don't know. Pray tell if there is a demon riding him. Is there anything we can do to? Track the demon, because we're having troubles tracking the man. A divining rod of some ha- sort, maybe. Um, a cursed compass. A cursed compass. <laughs> Sir, let's not mock the uh, supernatural. Do not mock the witch. <laughs> <laughs> a charmed uh, sundial. Uh, is there something that would help um, weaken the demon so that he would be easier to catch? I don't know. I'd have to know what I was dealing with. Would faith items be at least a good guess? If you were faithful to the the deity they represented. Faithful enough? I mean, I didn't <laughs> kill people at Should a job. We, uh, we, we're not going to get the father, are we? Father, we need you to exercise the demon. Oh, no. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. The no. witch has told us there's a demon in your midst. No, no, no. That sounds like a terrible idea. Um, Good job, Fotherin. All right. Has the lieutenant come back yet? Because this has been a long time for the lieutenant to go check and see if some vehicles are out there. Yeah, that's what you Okay. Wanna, yeah, we can. He, he comes back, says everything's in order. Okay, so they're all taking off on foot. Lieutenant, I want you with uh, I want you with the commander. Wherever he goes, you go. Take two men with you. They don't leave your sight unless something is dire. Oh, keep a close okay. eye on the corporals. So we're down three. Four men with the ki- with the three commander. men with him. Lieutenant, Lieutenant two, two others. Yeah. So, that, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. His group is four. Got um, it. And then Jack, you and I'll. I don't know, Jack. What do you think? Since you're in charge. <laughs> uh, three apiece, and well, I mean, 
where are we going is the question. I mean, we're going to start searching. I, but we we searched before and we didn't find anybody. Yeah, but we're and searching. People keep we're searching the town, and it's also he can't be that far. It's been five minutes. Also, the fact that it's not currently snowing. The issue we had last time was the snow covered up the footprints. All right. And as you look outside, you'll notice it starts snowing. If you say that, no, I'm no, 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 it's raining. <laughs> oh yeah, frogs. Hey, done. Um, who's got tracking? Oh, that look guy. at me. Hey, tracker. I think maybe I, 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 I think, think maybe he, we should you and I and four other men. Sure. Just in case it, it gets nasty and we need extra. Take firepower. cold weather gear and make sure the men are armed. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. We'll get them. I'm yeah. going to give each man uh, a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to give each man a grenade. <laughs> How many grenades do you have? Enough. They have as many as not they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> not nearly enough. Seven box O. <laughs> how, how many grenades do you have at the inn? Because we brought seven box O. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, why do you guys need all these? Gra- Don't just, just unload. The I'd boxes. rather have them and not need them. Oh, that's all our booze. We just put them in grenade boxes. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think you and I should take four men and, and start tracking this man. Okay. And yeah. if there is another guy that's with us that is good at tracking, I want to take him with us just because it would make most sense. Sure. There's there's got to be another guy in the sure. group that's got a similar background. Tracker <laughs> on me. You go to the hospital and find Tracker John. That doesn't work because it was Trapper. It was yeah. it was Trapper John. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we'll we'll head out and start joke. looking for him. Uh, terrible you joke. need to roll a track from the front of the inn. I got fifty three under my sixty. Nice. Good night. Yeah, no, his uh, you've got tracks that lead around the side of the building, mm-hmm. like you know. How he got, how he made that move so stealthily, you don't know. But demon, demon, um, yeah, you know, you like, know. Like I don't understand how demon. Oh, yeah. oh right, oh, that yeah. would make sense. Yeah. When there was um, only one set as of footprints. As we're going, <laughs> carrying you. De- <laughs> as we're going along, <laughs> actually, I, the demon was riding you. Yeah. Oh, if we can grab, if those four guys, one of them also being a tracker, can be our guys that have seen weird things before, that would be great. You want, you that would be optimal. Man. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> Mostly I don't want to be like, guys, I, mean, I have to shoot him. This is a thing. And then be like, what? I wanted them to be prepared for this. I feel like yeah. Fishman in the Water kind of sets you up for, yeah. and a demon's possessing him. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, so. podcast. Yeah. Fishman yeah. in the Water. Fishman. It's got to be better than Lady in the Water. Oh, Sorry, M. Night. I love your movies. I was going to go for Just Shape of the Water. Just not that one. Is M. Night one of our listeners? Uh, yes. Why not? <laughs> sure. Okay. When, when, you know what? When his next movie is Wolf Fishman, we'll know. Oh, my God. We are going to. <laughs> and, and we will have evidence to sue. It would be Wolf Fishman probably starring Benicio Del Toro. Yeah. That sounds about right. That'd be a good movie. Mm-hmm. Actually, I think this is more I'd of a Guillermo Del Toro film, Wolf Fishman. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Well, Benicio del Toro will play his brother, <laughs> Lloyd Fishman. <laughs> Lloyd. Okay, so we're gonna focus for just a second and track awesome. these guys down. Yeah, I'm working okay. on it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, do so that. yeah, you guys are running. Um, so I yes, we keep tracking this. I will let the men know that uh, it's possible that this man is possessed by some sort of evil force, and we may have to kill him. Okay. So. Uh, Wing Commander, what are you doing while your men are off Galavant. bravely hunting? I'm going to talk demons. to the priest. Okay. And uh, I don't think it needs to be said, but there was kind of a no, a, a, qu- a quiet order on the bloodletting. So don't. So they're not supposed to tell the yeah. villagers that they're not allowed yep. to talk to. Yep, the it is classified information. Okay. All right. So you and your lieutenant and two other men go uh, to the priest. Mm-hmm. And you find Father uh, Van de Hout um, preaching to some of the leftover um, crowd. Uh, they've gathered a few more people. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's talking about, you know, you can't trust. Uh, don't trust Whitey. Yeah, basically. Uh, no, don't trust, you know. Uh, demons. Demons, yeah. The devil, uh, it, it hides in. Plain sight, you would never know. You know, you have to, you have to watch out. Need to get some of his uh, blood. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got trouble, my friends. Yeah, right here. I say troll right here in Wesson City. 
It's Wepler. Wepler's, Wepler, whatever. Wepler. Yeah. Close enough. Close enough. Um, I appreciate it. So anyway, um, when he sees you walk in. With a capital T that rhymes with D and that stands for demon. <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying, John? <laughs> I don't remember. No, um, he's preaching, you know, to the to the people, talking about how um, you know outsiders uh, need to be watched, and you know he sees you walk in, and uh, kind of goes up to the pulpit. You know, he was speaking like on their level, mm -hmm. uh, but then he goes up to the pulpit and says. You know, to you, Commander, what have you to report? Like he's some kind of authority. Uh, if we can speak in your rectory, Father. The people want answers. Do you deny them the, an the truth? The truth is simple. Children are going missing. Is that factual? Yes. This woman, uh, Frau Coplin, Coppin. You brought her with you? We have not. Okay. Oh, no, did he ask us that or not? No, no, no. Okay, like, no. I, I, I'm asking. No. I figured she could stay. Well, when you said this woman, I, yeah. I didn't know if. Yeah. This, okay. This woman, Frau Koppen, in the past has had many dealing with these children, specifically these children. Is that accurate? I suppose so, against my wishes. So wouldn't it make sense if to check all common ties? Very well. What did you learn? We are current. We have some. Wait, start that over. Backtrack. Run it back. We have learned some things, but we need to. The procedure is not to discuss them in public in case there is an unfortunateness that someone involved could overhear. No one here. And you kind of like fans out to the crowd, is involved beyond being victims. And you, and you notice now that the parents of the kid mm -hmm. that you met are in the group. Okay. Um, you have answers. You should, be, you should speak plainly. I'm going to walk to the family that defended Frau Koppen. Mm -hmm. The wife, anyway. Yes. The husband was, you know, not one way or the other. Yeah. Uh, I do not remember her name. Neither I don't do I. think we gave her I don't name. I think we did either. The mother of Theobald. Yeah. And I'll address her. Ma'am, Pharaoh, do you believe honestly that Frau Koppen intends any harm for these children? I wouldn't have believed it if you had told me before, but now I don't know. How long has she been here? She oversaw my birth. How many people, how many lives has she saved? I couldn't, couldn't even tell you. Why, after all this time, would she turn on you guys? Why would she decide now was the time? She, you know, looks around you know, at a loss for an answer and the priest speaks up. Because she knows that I or that her time is at an end, that the people will soon see the truth and see her for the demon that she is, the witch, and cast her out. And what evidence do you have that she is a witch? Is she made of wood? <laughs> <laughs> Did she turn you into a newt? I got better. Um, I believe she, we are legally required to have at least one Monty <laughs> Python reference in a role-playing game. It's true. Absolutely it's right. true. There, there are no solid accusations in this time, but a, but a woman who does not um, I don't a woman does, that does not accept her place in society can be nothing but a witch. Her place in society. The views of the priest <laughs> character as played by John do not reflect the attitudes of the other players. Yes. So see, her see the opening disclaimer. <laughs> so her place in society saving the lives of children. Ooh, snap. 
She usurps the will of God. So is it the will of God, your God to kill children? We don't know that any of them are dead. Do no, you know that they the, are dead? The injuries, the sicknesses. All things are God's will. So it is God's will that she has saved them. He's clearly <laughs> being backed into a corner here, and he doesn't like it, and he's getting Sorry. visibly upset. Arguments listen, I've had with my listen family. Wing Commander, w- women are dumb and stupid, and men are awesome, so you just need to understand that, okay? Case closed. So what was the out of character? What was the purpose of coming to the church? Uh, it was a something I was giving him so that he could save face when he uh, departed with his mob. Okay, so he uh, and it has not worked in that way so no. far. But no, but he he so he brings it back. So yeah, you you what's you, your persuade score? <laughs> pretty high. Okay. So you 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 hit it, you've knocked him back to the ropes a little bit. He, yeah, he's off his high horse. But he so he brings the conversation back around. But what have you actually learned? What can you tell us now? We have learned a lot more about the history of the children after talking with their parents, which I are the parents of the third missing child here. Uh, Helene, yes, they are. I'm like uh, Helene, if uh, Helene's parents, if you don't mind, if we could speak after this. They kind of look at the priest for uh, permission. and he doesn't respond uh, positively or negatively. Okay. But we're just trying to get enough information, trying to get all the information available. I currently have two patrols out currently looking for these children. Where? Uh, I am not sure. I am not a tracker by trade. I then have my should, best men on it. Then we should send men from the village who know the surrounding area with those men. Or do I have volunteers for that? Mm-hmm. Furs. What um is house? Deuce, Deuce Deuce house? Deuce house. Is he here? He is not. Um, but when you ask for volunteers, yeah, uh, three of the men stand up. And they say we can we can help. All right. Um, do you, any of you know Herr Deusterhaus? Yeah, he's my uncle. All right. Uh, okay. I think we should also tag him because he seems to be very proficient. It can s- he's a fur, right? Yeah. Yeah. Trapper. Yeah. He, he professional hunter. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's getting up there in age, so I don't know how well he'll do out uh, on the run. But um, the man offers to go fetch him. All right. It's going to be a little bit, but okay. Uh, what time is it now? Um, mid afternoon. Mid afternoon. Yeah. So if they want to meet up around, meet back at the hotel. Okay. At Let's say eighteen hundred hours. Report or to the sun or report to the inn as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay. Well, not necessarily as soon as possible. We'll give them time to gather their gear. Well, that's what. As yeah. yeah. As soon as possible. Once you are re- once they have outfitted themselves mm-hmm. appropriately. Um. Yeah, that works. Um. And I'll ask him if, if the priest, if he would like to speak privately about anything. Okay. So, yeah, they the the townspeople are satisfied that that work that something is being done. So mm-hmm. that uh, way to uh, disarm that situation, uh, and the priest will take you back to the rectory to speak. Uh, but let's jump back to um, the search party. Yay. Um. What do you guys? What are you guys up to? Searching, tracking, <laughs> searching, <laughs> looking, partying. Yep. <laughs> um, what is your? I'm wh- following the tracks that we found. I mean, okay, that's yeah, that's what I. I guess I was getting. And I'll bring up the rear and keep an eye out for anybody who decides to wander off. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, so yeah, the tracks quickly lead out of town, um, and you get to the river. Let's see, there's a river nearby. Um, at which point you lose um, 
the footprints. Okay. Um, they ju- they it's almost as though as the man went, his steps got lighter and lighter again. Yeah, until uh, they just vanish in the snow. Um, when one of the men um, says, "You know, we were." talking to the guys that were already stationed here and there are a lot of caves out in this direction. Um, we don't, we, you know, obviously we haven't been here long enough to map them out. I don't know if the, if even the, the locals, the, the, yeah, the locals would have more knowledge about this than we would. Why didn't we think of that earlier? Because we were really trying to an keep it them. Mm, true. I say we go spelunking. Corey? Um, Loveridge. Yeah, right? What do you say, Captain Loveridge? So the the footprints disappear again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, At the river. What direction is this, north or south? Because they they disappeared both ends off of the road. Right. Um, this this time they are again for the listeners whichever way the wolves encounter north. went north north, north. they are in the northern direction okay um, so all right I guess we head do we head back to town you think I was thinking we should go spelunking but we don't know which cave, and if there's a lot, like there are more. There's more than one cave. Oh yeah, there's a there's a bunch of caves in the area. According to rumor, we haven't confirmed. Perhaps the locals would have more knowledge. Is what your men tell you. All right. So you want to go back to town and shake down a local for some info about the caves? Yeah, maybe Dooster House will come into town. Yeah, that would be so uh-huh. weird if that just conveniently happened. Hey, right? I like Dooster House. Okay. He's got a house. It's full of Dooster. It's a Dooster house. Dooster house. So, yeah, you guys uh, turn around, head back in, and... Um, well, we lost him. <laughs> and it's about that time that the uh, that Dooster house and the locals show up. Um, but we're going to jump back to the conversation with the priest real quick. Um, what? Uh, so, yeah, so he says... What do you need to tell me? Uh, I was offering you a chance to talk in private if you needed. Well, have you told me everything there is to know? We are also one of the reasons that w- I'll, I'll I'll feed him the line that one of the reasons that we're bringing the wise woman in is to help with the sick in case the children have gotten wounded in case they are. We're giving her some more. Pro- we're giving her some proper medical training, and that we were going to start tagging other members of the village. To do so as well. Okay. Because, you know, dark times, war on the horizon. But you're not going to tell him anything about what she said about demons or anything? I'm trying to guide him away from the witch thing. Okay. All right. Well, then, in that case, he's like, well, I guess uh, since my efforts haven't been productive, perhaps yours will. I think that proper medical training might... uh, Steer her back in the right direction. Proper medical training instead of prayer? Yes. I mean, no. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Wait, no. Crap, I'm a priest. (laughs) Okay. Um, I'm not going to mock him anymore. I'm going to be very sympathetic in my dealings with him. Okay. So. After uh, embarrassing him repeatedly in his. um, So, yeah. So, he's placated. And thinks he's managed to eke out some small victory. Yeah. But you're going to leave him behind. Yes. Fair enough. Um, and then I'll have a quick conversation with the parents. Just okay. similar things. Like just you're just placating them, making them feel like you've got the, the British Army has this in, in yeah. hand. Yeah, similar questions that we asked the other parents just so they don't like, well, why, why did those missing children get more attention than my missing child? Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, so you finish up there uh, right about the time everybody's arriving Back at the inn, um, you've got Dooster House and three other locals. Uh, one of them has a dog with him. Um, 
a uh, hunting dog. Du bist ein guter Hund. That might have been freaking helpful. I mean, if somebody had asked for well, it earlier. they did go into the river, so. Yeah. Yeah. Or over the river. Over the river. Through, through the, woods. the woods. Yep. To <gasps> deuce her house. What if she's the grandmother? <gasps> she's everyone's grandmother. That's that's the big secret. Actually, she's grand- the uber grandmutter. Grandmother okay. might be a good term uh, title for her. So I will, the assembled uh, track, fa- like, village people yeah um i will <laughs> <laughs> what the, the, the symbol yeah. b- assembled tracking village people i just want to know who's the cop and who's the Indian. yeah i say one's in a hard hat one's in chaps oh. oh yes the assembled village people the you know are the assembled don't you <laughs> oh, in, in MCA. i thought they were going to join the navy yeah uh, well the, the air force is the only one that's present so sure they sure. can't the uh, the assembled people of the village, the villagers, if you the, will. Yes, um, <laughs> I'm going to ask them, or I'm going to let them know that that we tracked what we believe is the problem north out of town to a river. We had heard rumors that there are caves in the area. Oh yeah, um, lots of caves down there or up that way. Anything large enough for. Um, I don't know, a couple of men to hide out in? Oh, yeah, probably. I mean, it's happened before. Um, we know the area you're talking about. Okay. Could you lead us to those? Of course. Are we, we ready to set out now? No time like the present. Yep, let's go. Everybody going this time? Yes. Cool. Not all the soldiers. We'll leave the lieutenant back. Do you want to take any extra guys? Uh, we'll take the guys that you have, and then yeah. with the five villagers, okay. four villagers, four villagers, and a dog. And a dog. Yeah. Well, he's a villi- He lives in the village. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't just you know. Don't Dogs be, are people now. Don't be speciesist. Yeah. So seven soldiers, three of us, before four, we took four guys. Us. Yep. Yeah, I think seven on four is good if this goes bad. Sure. <laughs> and and the well yeah three. No. Well, six. three and a dog. Plus the 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 dude. Yeah. Yeah, the Dooster. Yeah, Eld- okay. the Elder Dooster and yeah. Dooster the Younger, and then the two other guys that don't have names, and the dog. Does the dog have a name? I, we've already proven that canines are not. We're not afraid of no ghosts. Where you know, no. We are no friends to dogs, though. No. Uh, I just told him he was a good dog. The dog. The dog's name is Remco. Remco. <laughs> the dog's. I'm glad that we named the dog first. Remco. That was the only one specifically asked for. You want the other men named? No, good. I'm good. The, you don't name things you don't plan on keeping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, or or much like Star Trek, are they wearing red shirts? <laughs> uh, one of them has a red a red coat, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. The other yeah, one has solid. a, he's a goner. orange parka. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll yeah, we'll head that direction. Yeah. And they have uh, strange head ridges and eh. pointy ears. Oh, I was gonna go with the Kenny from South Park reference. Blue finger. Ah, uh, got it. Okay, orange hoodie. Yeah. I'm with you now. Yep. I'm all caught up. Caught up. Right, Brown. I've made Brown. my note. Rimco the dog. <laughs> um. <laughs> Which really should be the subject of a children's book at this point. But anyway, go on. I don't think children need to be yeah. <laughs> involved in this story any more than they already are. Um, it's, it's probably yeah. Fair. So you guys head out. Yep. Um, so you may, you make your way back to the. Um, river where you lost the tracks before and obviously the the first question the men from the village have is where did the tracks go like how does this happen they're just yeah that's strange we were hoping that we could just uh, head towards the i I'm believe swamp gas off jupiter <laughs> is <laughs> affecting the gravity of the situation would you look right here villagers yes look right into this light uh, you <laughs> know i'm, I'm where, which which direction are the caves north from here can you lead us that way? Yeah. Um, I'm just not going to answer. <laughs> <laughs> gonna just Military secrets don't work. Um, yeah, so they... Um, Jetpacks are just very <laughs> slow. So the, the dog kind of gets his hackles up and starts baying, on, baying in, in a direction. And the, and the villagers confirm, Dooster House confirms that you know, the caves are that way. All right. Okay. Um, so it looks like you're right. I um, will... Uh, Get my gun out in tuba position. <laughs> so you have we your Tommy, all have your our guns gun out in tuba yeah. position. Yep. 
Tom I thought it was a violin case. Wish yeah. I had a few more grenades. <laughs> <laughs> a few more? Really? A few more. What, we both have two, plus two on each of the four guys we have. We've got a ton of grenades. Yeah, I wish I had a few <laughs> more. I think 12 grenades is good. I think we're set at 12 grenades. Okay. Okay. Okay, if if it if we're one grenade away, I'm gonna say we should have had thirteen. That's, That's all true. I'm saying. That, you know that would be that would have been unlucky, but that would have been that would have been unlucky. Exactly, make it fourteen. Anyway, go on. We have so um, give me another track roll there, Matt, for the group. Forty two under sixty. Yeah. Um, so uh, there, you're walking along, and you come across uh, the first cave. It's shallow, um, just a, a, a stream coming out of it. Obviously, it's no good. Yeah. Uh, you're moving deeper in the woods. It's getting darker. Uh, the terrain is a little rougher um, as the sides of the hills get a little bit too close to the river. Uh, you're forced to walk across or walk out onto the ice okay. in order to um, keep going. Which is good because we have those snow boots, which will distribute our weight better. They w those will, and uh, yeah, the 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 locals confirm like, oh no, the ice is it's cold enough. The ice is thick enough okay. that uh, we're not seeing it like run just so, so yeah. like a half inch under the right. ice. Yeah, um, no, it's it's. I mean, it's buried in snow, but they're like, oh no, this time of year, that thing is frozen. It sees sunlight for twenty minutes a day, and, and there's a layer of snow on top of it, so it's okay. frozen solid. You don't have anything to to worry about there um so you but it is kind of an ominous sight to have the walls up so high yeah, yeah, as yeah. you're pinched through this um part of the part of the canyon or whatever okay um and they say up ahead we're going to find a network of caves that um they could easily hide out in there have been um one or two stories in the past where a, an outlaw has M moonshiners yeah moonshiners yeah because um, that's a thing that happens out here yeah sure um, but it would make an excellent hideout for moonshiners uh the you know it would be hard for the constable to come out here and and track down okay. one person through these caves i'm not sure anybody has a problem with illegal schnapps making in, uh, in no Germany. no there are not revenue men in germany no. yeah. or no. belgium Belgium. Yeah, it's not a thing out here, but right. for the uh, American listeners who have need a frame of reference, it would be. The I've already imagined that uh, Frau Coppen has a corn cob pipe. <laughs> like I'm assuming we're in the Appalachians <laughs> at this point. Prob <laughs> probably an equivalent uh, wouldn't be wouldn't be a bad draw. We um, apologize to our Appalachian listeners and or our Belgian listeners, both of them. Yeah, just we're gonna cover all our bases. In fact, we'd like to apologize to all of our listeners. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just yeah. just because it's coming. Don't worry. <laughs> if we haven't made fun of you yet, we'll get to it. You're yep. on our list. And yeah, so they um, say, so, you know, I don't know how you guys want to handle this. Um, but Have I noticed any tracks of any kind? Um, not yet. No. Okay. How's the dog reacting? Uh, the dog is on edge. He's not um, baying anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, you know they've they've quieted him down because you're on they're on the yeah. they're on the scent so he's but he's you know got um, yeah dogs do the the fur up when they're mm -hmm. agitated right yeah. yeah ears you know back. pointed yeah ears back growling a little yeah right in there yeah, yeah. like um, when uh, when one of the soldiers gets you know steps a little closer than normal he kind of not he doesn't bite at them but he might back off yeah uh, you know give himself some room. Uh, from strangers, um, he's on edge. Uh, at which point, you guys come around a bend oh. and find um, effectively the the source of the river, um, or the waterfall. Yeah. Um, oh, we promised ourselves we weren't going to go chasing it. <laughs> <laughs> we did try to stick to the rivers and the streams that we're used to. Some of the people are used to them, uh, just not you guys. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, I wanted to make it your way, Commander, or not at all. But I think we're moving down this river too fast. 
That happens. Sorry. I hadn't contributed. <laughs> and I had to think for just a second what the actual lyrics I'm, were. I'm kind of impressed that you made that poll. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nicely done, everybody. I had yeah. to like really like sit here for a second yeah. and piece it together because yeah. I wasn't sure. I mean, I, right. yeah, yeah, be, be, kudos to everyone for the reference. And, 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 and again, we need to apologize to the listeners for subjecting you to that. <laughs> it's all Ed's fault. He's it's real, it really is. I it love really TLC. Is. <laughs> They're great. Or we're great. I don't know. We're I still together. Well, well, most I of know them are yeah. dead now. One we lost more than one? one I think two or th- two members have passed. Wow, you need to edit this well, part out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. We we'll are the widest group of players. I, l- I love TLC. They were great. They were great. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, so you guys have, um, like I said, it's, uh, three caves that they say, you know, um, a couple of these... <laughs> Go deep, join up together, and then there uh, are some more openings uh, over this ridge that you would find if you if we go in there. Um, I want to approach the first cave and look just at the edge if there's any. Give me yeah. a roll. Yeah, thirteen under on what? Under sixty on track. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, there are definite. Um, signs of traffic in and out of here mm-hmm. and um, child-sized footprints. Uh, it looks like... Foot or shoe prints? Foot. Oh, okay. Um, it looks like one of them tried to escape uh, but was dragged back in. They didn't get very far. Um, yeah, and at this point you start hearing growls for lack of a better term, snarls. Um, not quite uh, man, not quite animal noises. The dog, the uh, Rimco, because he has a name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Has, gets like he he's he's growling back, like in response. He's barking. Okay. Um, My suggestion is going to be we take Rimco, kind of have him sniff at each of the three openings and go down whichever ones make oh, him angriest. I think we should go down this one. With the child footprints. Yeah. In front of them. Yep. Because honestly, if the soldiers are dead, whoops. But I'd like to save children first. Yeah. Like sure. if we can. Like, <laughs> no, no, uh, no offense to your reports there, sir, but like the children are kind of top of the priority at this point. Um, I'll have the, the two of the men we brought, two of our men. Yeah. Point their flashlights down. Okay. Their torches. Yes, their torches so that they're illuminating it while the. Uh, I'll go f- in front. I just want to make sure that somebody else is holding a flashlight so I don't have to hold that and my gun while I mow down whatever we see. Okay. So they arm themselves with handguns, sure. pistols, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and uh, do the... And you're walking downrange of them? Yeah, not super far, but I, w- I don't want to be... <clears throat> I don't have to hold the flashlight, and yeah. I don't need them right next to me. I am actually... Wide. I'm going to come at... I'm going to come at your kind of back to the caddy corner. I'll have my f- torch out and my pistol. Sure. I'm much better with my pistol. There you go. I didn't want to tell the commander what to do, but hey, he got the idea. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, and Jack? Uh, I, I've i got my... Uh, I'm, I'm only slightly worse with my uh, M1911. So, yeah, I'll do the same thing. Flashlight and pistol. Okay. Do you want to... Um, so since you have two men with flashlight and pistols escorting you, do you want to give different orders to the four men and the villagers that you left behind? I would well, s- maybe the four villagers stay out, and if they see anything, one holler. But that way, if if something leaves, we know that it's out of the caves. Wh- why don't we yeah. leave a couple of our men back with the villagers? Just every time we leave our men somewhere, they disappear. I, you know, it's not a bad idea. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that's so four. we'll leave ha- um, how many men did we bring with us? Four. Four, four. four and there are four villagers in Rimco? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but and one of those villagers is an old elderly man. Yeah. So do but we a good shot. <laughs> do we want to <laughs> take Rimco and his lead with us? No, I think we found what we need to find. Okay. Yeah. So we can leave two of our soldiers back with those four. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to make sure the two we leave behind are carrying uh, some machine guns of some sort. I'm also going to have two of them start to make a camp, build a campfire, and create some shelter. What? Because, what, uh, um, 
if we get these kids out and they're injured, they're going to need a warm place to rest for a bit before we bring them back to the I think we're kind of distracting ourselves from the task at hand with that. I think uh, because we want them covering our rear at the moment. Yeah. I at least, I I would like it maybe if the trackers could, the villagers could build a fire. Build a fire wouldn't be a bad idea. Also, fire keeps away wolves. And we have been attacked by wolves out here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I have a couple of villagers to build okay. fire. I think some way for place for Vanderhouse to Deucer House. Uh, Deucer House. Deucer Vanderhouse. Um to kind of sit because he, as we've said, he's an aged individual. Um okay. I'm gonna turn to the two guys we're leaving behind with the villagers. Uh huh. And and uh just quietly fire till you're empty if you see it. For the love of God, don't disappear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so you are taking two of your soldiers into the cave, so there will yep. be five of you in the yes. cave. Yes. Yep. You're leaving two of our soldiers. Two of your soldiers and the four villagers and Rimco the dog. Uh, <laughs> yes. Outside. Yes. And instructing them to build a campfire. Elder Deuster House, Deuster yeah. House the Younger, the dog, and the two unnamed villagers that are going to die a horrible, yeah. horrible death will stay with two soldiers that have machine some machine guns okay and we'll also probably die horrible horrible yeah well, but, but they're gonna get some shots off as yeah, long as rimco survives <laughs> we'll be okay yeah just just remember shoot it until it stops moving then reload and shoot it some more yeah separate the head from the shoulders <laughs> yeah um and then i will go into the cave okay yeah um so yeah you guys are wandering are walking into the cave um, the floor is very slick, covered nice because, uh, yep. you know, water. Um, the cave slope is sloping slightly down, um, deeper into the earth. Um, and you hear that inhuman growl um, mm-hmm. that you recognize from your dreams. Um, but you can't get a pinpoint on it because the sound is echoing off of all the different... Uh, walls and everything um and you're walking for uh quite a bit and then um you hear screams and a repeated thudding sound that you instinctually recognize as gunfire yeah we're gonna head back out quickly okay head back out oh oh yes coming from behind us yes got it well you hear the noise. It's yeah. impossible to locate. But, but if they have machine, <laughs> if they have guns, yeah. then they're probably outside. Yeah. Um, okay. So everybody. Well, we did lose two soldiers that were armed. In here. That's a good point. Um, I think splitting up further is bad. Very terrible. Bad. Terrible. Yeah. Bad. I say we go back. Stupid we know what's back bad. that way. I would rather check and see them, and then stumble around in here and leave them out there okay mm-hmm. all right um uh so Double time I, so everybody needs to make a dexterity roll times, times five yeah times five to make it back up the ice i make it oh i make it i got a seven got a 23 out of 50 all right 27 out of Whatever 14 times 5 is, I made it. 70. Right. 70, thank it's you. It's a hard number. Yeah. All right. So it, uh, you're, the men with you stumble a little bit, but sure. they don't fall. Um, nobody is injured on the way out. Uh, and you come out in onto a horrible scene. Um, the unnamed villager in the red coat. Sure. Dead. <laughs> dead. 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 Um, yep. Yep. Uh, just his... His brain has been splattered on the snow um, right there on the ice. And your men are shooting up or shooting off into the woods around you. When one of them sees you guys coming back out, he turns and fires for like three rounds, but pulls back and, oh, and okay. apologizes. Sorry, movement. I We saw something. Um, I have moved from tuba position. To ready position. Okay. Tuba position to trombone position. <laughs> yes, trombone. Yes. yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, it. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I am going to holster my 1911 and I'm going to pull out my M29. 
Okay. I have less chance of hitting with it, but I have more chance of, of putting a lot of lead downrange. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, so you guys approach the group. Um, uh, Rimco is limping. Uh, Rimco, no! Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to get the son of a bitch who hurt <laughs> that dog. Uh, he and and your mi- your men explain like like as soon as your light was around the bend in there, we heard the noise. Uh, they they came out of the trees and out of the caves. They they there were at least three of them. We're not sure. Um, just monsters. I am I can't I don't know just hairy yellow eyed monsters. And they, um, one of them had a had a club, and he killed the villager. Um, and, and old red, yeah, old red, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, should have named him. Anyway, um, nah. They 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 just they you know they killed him, and then he points to the other guy. Uh, he's nursing a broken arm. Clearly, he's taken a blow to his forearm. Yeah. Um, it's bad. It's bru- you know, bruised and, and, you know, badly broken. Um, you know, the, we, uh, Rimco lunged at another one <coughs> and the beast just threw him aside like he was nothing. Um, you know, we, we opened fire as soon as they, they, you know, cleared, the, you know, the villagers yeah. and, you know, uh, uh, Two went off this direction. One went back into the cave, and he points at a different cave that you guys, from what you guys were just in. And they, and they, like, yeah, those are those are connected to the one you were in. Um, I think you were lured in by the growls, by the noise, and then they they ambushed us. Good thing we left a couple guys behind with machine guns. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if we heard him. I know I know I hit him, but I'm not sure if we heard him. You did what you could. You did the best you could. Yeah. I thank you, sir. Do better next time. <laughs> Jeez. Wow, Jack <laughs> gets rough. <laughs> I'm um, sorry, I'm just I'm a little torn up about the dog, that's all. Um I'm gonna mo- I'm gonna motion for Jack to keep an eye out and I'm gonna start looking to see if I can see any blood or any any indication that, that either or any of the monsters were hit. Um I can roll track for that. Yes, roll track for that. I got a nine. Nice. Under 60. Um, you find blood, but the thing you don't find are footprints. Of course. They're, they're just lying. There are no, yeah, there are no footprints anywhere, but. The elven werewolves, great. Yeah. You like El- that, Ed? Elvis? Yes, Elvis wrote werewolves. <laughs> Elvis is a werewolf. <laughs> Elvis Fishman. No. <laughs> no. That's his cousin. Yeah. Um, so, uh, thy, there's is there a way to track them from this blood, other than back to the caves? Um, there, I mean, there are two paths, one off into the woods and one, one into the, the cave. cave, yeah. All right. Um, sir, it looks like they made, they actually did make contact with the bullets. Uh, at least one of them was shot. Okay. Or what, do I see trails of blood both directions? Yeah. You, yeah. you, you can say they're, yeah. They're at least two of at them At least two hit. of them have been hit. Okay. Yeah, at least two of them have been hit. But it didn't also seem to slow them down. Also, just FYI, they're not leaving tracks. Lovely. So, that's information. <laughs> <clears throat> now how, we're kind of at an impasse here. How far until? How long until dark? Two hours. Okay. Did they seem hungry or anything? Who? I mean, are you asking the beast? Yeah. Me as the GM? No, I'm asking the people. They ju- They they no. They hit us and left intentionally. Yeah. Is there a place we can put ourselves up against the wall? Yes. Actually, it might not be a bad idea if we want to bring everyone into the cave because there was a specifically a bend in the cave. Yeah, just a little bit so that we can put us against the wall. We can see them coming at us. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe we have flares, I would assume. Sure. We could yeah, probably flares. also lanterns of some description. Um, we could set some flares out so we can at least see them coming. What do you think? Yeah, How per- long do flares lo- burn? Oh, hour. An hour. An hour. An hour. Yeah, well, well, it also w- saves us the trouble of having to build a shelter. We could build a th- fire in the cave. Yeah, keep let's warm. go ahead and get set up. Put mm-hmm. put the fire in a place that's going to make keep us warm and not Smoke obstruct our, our well, and not obstruct our vision. And then toss some flares out to keep the light so we can see shadows moving if we need to. And I guess hunker down for the night. This sounds terrible. You just gonna camp out. In the I mean, cave? we can head back, but we're at the same thing. We're gonna have to yeah. come right back out here yeah. and track this down. Like, okay. well, honestly, we may want to leave them there and then also start exploring the cave more. We were p- pretty safe in the cave. Yeah, but that's only because they purposely went out to attack the people we left out there. Yeah, but again, go into the cave. If they attack us, we're gonna have to fight these things regardless. If we're gonna find these children. Yeah, but if we do it together, that gives us numbers. We just wait them out, and hopefully they get impatient. The power of friendship. Yeah, the power of friendship. So as you're setting up your cave, you start to hear the growls again, mm-hmm. echoing off the walls. Yeah, see, there um, he's going to try and pull us in. We just they're, wait. They're it's going to be very loud, firing all these guns in the <laughs> yeah. cave. Um, so they they seem to be getting closer as as time passes. Mm-hmm. Um, Everybody give me sanity checks. I didn't need to sell it to make that ah. one. I rolled a two. I didn't need to make that one. Ooh, nice. 84. Yeah. So Ooh. two failures? Yeah. Yeah, I failed. Uh, D6s, please. Anything on a success? Yeah, uh, half. Uh, Five. Half. So I Do we three. lose? Uh, this, this sounds terrible. It's a stupid question. I shouldn't ask this question. I'm not going to ask a question. Do we lose sanity for the dead body? No, not right, because you're in you're at war. Okay. So maybe. Oh, that's right. That's our ability. That's your never thing. mind. You can ignore it for now. Yeah. If we were non-soldiers, never mind. Yeah. That's okay. Perfect. So I so I lose three. I lost uh, no, one. No, no, no. You failed your sanity roll. I th- you lose the five. Uh, oh, I lose he five lose, sanity. Yes. Rob loses half because oh. he succeeded. Yeah. Really? Because I only rolled two and I failed. <laughs> you rolled a d six. Yep. Okay, well, he rolled a d6 and got I a know. five. No, I just think yeah. it's funny that Rob lost more than me. And I no, no, I, oh. I lost one. Oh, okay. I thought Rob lost three. That would have no, been, yeah. been hilarious. That would have been great. Um, yeah. I've uh, still got a lot of, of sanity. I've still got plenty. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm very yeah. sane. I'm are, you sane abo- are you above 45 I'm right now? I'm the sanest person you'll ever meet. I am above 45, yes. Yeah, well, my first character started with 45, and I... Made it a lo- I made it a lot farther than this, so I think you're fine. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Your that character didn't even go insane. Not until he died. Yeah. Or no, he didn't die. He didn't die, but he's still around somewhere. My, yeah. my last character started with like twelve. No, he had more than twelve. No, I went crazy by the end. I went insane. That's possible. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So yeah. Um, the two who failed their sanity checks. Yeah. Um. You're getting hungry. You're getting very, very hungry. Yeah. And that noise that those animals or whatever are making is not pleasant. It's it's kind of getting really irritating. Um. The um. The dog looks tasty. We have field rations. We have field rations. Oh my god! I'm not eating, I'm not the eating dog. dog. No, no. I mean, not doing it. You know, when in China. But I mean, if if we're gonna do that, there's a dead wow. guy out there. <laughs> it's a fair no. no, no. Wow, he's, he's right there next to you. What you is going on right now? The, you would have brought the body inside, right? So yeah, I mean, yeah. Why that, would yeah, we have rem- brought the body inside? What is wrong with you people? To why carry would we, it back? Like, why would you we have, be respectful? Yeah, we wouldn't leave. We wouldn't a, leave it to the an- to the animals. Would your you? Catholic faith would tell you that's a terrible idea to let it be eaten by some monstrous creature. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not like it's going to like start to rot or anything. It's too damn cold. <laughs> or and rise, you know. Could, could we... Are you sure I mean, about that? Well, no, the brain yeah. was splattered all over, so it's yeah, probably yeah. not going to rise. Um, yeah, the, the, I mean, the dog was you know, was looking tasty, but now there's that body over no, there. No, no, no. No, I have I mean, field rations. <laughs> I nope. know I have field rations. Nope. So you're going to eat field rations? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Field rations. Okay. You weirdo. Um, 
so they yeah they start the the voice the the the, the animals start like yipping at you they're taunting you and you re- it's really making you angry at this point it's it's kind of it's almost like they're using psychological warfare against you can we see any of them out in the distance at all you haven't you can't yet no or you haven't yet how f- so we're so i assume the cave went in just a little bit and then bends yeah so we could have seen daylight from from the bend yeah okay. i mean you can you can have somebody walk you know a good maybe 10 feet up and see the uh, see the mouth of the cave okay would you i guess would you have post maybe posted men nope. at the mouth nope because as soon as they're out of sight they're gonna get killed well no like they're like over there in sight, oh, okay. but they can see enough to get the a view of the mouth of the cave. Um, yeah, I'll probably have a couple of guys out there just to keep an eye out. And then with the yeah. understanding, they'll come back if they see anything, not stand out there and shoot it where we can't see it either. Sure. Um, the, and the yips are coming from deeper in the cave? It's impossible to tell. Well, they're really. not coming from out of the cave. It's, it doesn't seem likely. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the yips are coming from down the gate, down down the, uh, as best I can tell. As best you can tell, it's um, it's hard to pinpoint, but they, you don't see them at the mouth of the cave, so clearly they're from deeper in the cave. All right, listeners at home, invisible. now is the time. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a grenade, pull the pin, and chuck it down the the cave the the tunnel the yeah, area okay, yeah. and yell grenade. Nope, it's too late. It's already happening. Okay. But yeah, I know it's a terrible idea. Aren't there kids down there? That we have to save and shit? We have been down farther than that point, right, where I'm throwing a grenade. It depends on how you throw it. Are I'm not you just that good tossing it? Oh, or no, I'm going like to throw it. Throw it like a baseball. I'll throw it like a baseball. Should I roll Give throw? Me, yeah, you should roll throw. Throw it like a softball. Well, that's a 10, and I have an 81. So I'm going to say. So you got a 10 on the 10s die. So yeah. you're good. Can you give me my die? I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so so you, I'm like, so if you, what if is you throw intention? a critical fail and blow us all up. Uh, oh, that is exactly a 10. That is one fifth. Nice. So you impale with a grenade. No, you don't. Um, <laughs> I, I do, actually. Is, That's the is, whole point of Fracker. Right. What is your intention? I want to either startle them into attacking us or get them to run away. Because this growling is really, and this growling and yipping is really getting to me. Okay, roll your damage for the grenade. I don't remember what they do. Here it is. Oh, hey, look at that. They explode. Um, that's three sixes <laughs> and a one. So 19. Six, 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 one. And a one. one. Wow. All right. I'm sorry. Um, elder sign, elder sign, Cthulhu, and a one. The number of the beast. Yeah. <laughs> elder sign, elder sign. That's Extension Cthulhu. one. Which, which <laughs> elder sign is it? It's that one. Oh, it's the not the leaf. Ah. Uh. So wait. I'm sorry. Oh, they're these are same. different sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They look the same, but they're different. Yeah. I see. One's now. yellow and one's green. No, really? they're both green. Oh, they are? They're yeah. All green. Okay. <laughs> they're all it's green. Confusingly it green. Slightly separate green. Yeah. The, but anyway, so anyway. do I kill them all? Um, they're all dead. There is a loud a loud boom. I did say yell, I did yell grenade in German. No you, no, you didn't. You just tossed the grenade. You just I said, said, yeah. Then no, I said, no, we talked off, off mic. No, no, and then I said I, no, I yelled grenade in German. Okay. We'll go. We'll refer back to the tape later to find out. Anyway. Um, <laughs> just a giant reel to reel just <laughs> running over here. For the listener at home, we, we have a referee standing in the corner ready to stick his head under a, under a blanket and yeah. Yeah. look yeah. at the replay. Uh, unfortunately, John only has three of those per game. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, sports references on a nerd and podcast. If it, and if it isn't it? overturned, he loses one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, no. So you hear the loud boom, rocks fall, everybody dies. The end. No, I'm kidding. Oh, good. Um, well, hold on, I got a button for that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, yeah, you hear the TPK button. You, yeah. you hear a loud boom, a bu- uh, and rocks do fall. At which point, three. Um, creatures that kind of look like men start running up the cave towards you. You can see their forms lit by the red flares. Would you call them Wendigo? Um, that might be a reference someone would make. Just as to like a Canadian. Yeah, their feet don't seem to be touching the ground. They're they're running 
And a you good didn't want to eat a corpse. Yeah. Six inches above the ground or so, floating uh, in midair. I'm going to open fire. Okay. Um, and I'm going to join in. Yep. Um, we is there one that's bigger initiative? than the others? There is one that is bigger than the others. We're, we're basically shooting down a hallway, though, here, You right? are, okay. yeah. A darkish hallway. A, dark, a darkish dark hallway. hallway. Well, it, with flare, burning flares in front of you, so mm-hmm. it's a little At least obscured. we can see the outlines. That's what I was yeah. going for there, yeah. Yeah. Um, what is everybody's dex? 15. 14. Low. 10. I believe the term you're looking for is spray and pray. Yeah, that's what I have a machine gun for. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, th- I think I'm going to throw. <laughs> now you call the c- cause the cave in and you kill everyone. It's not my fault. It hits the back wall and rebounds. Uh, okay. No, no, I'm perfectly fine with us all dying as long as these three things go. Okay, cool. All right, we're on the same page. You're like, I'm oh, okay you got a broken leg and you're going to be out for a few months. Did they die? <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, then we win. <laughs> yeah. Sounds right. like a win to me. <laughs> I'm okay with this the all dying as long as it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> so that uh, should be on your headstone. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny though. So yeah, yeah so Loveridge declares first machine can I gun get, fire. Uh how many of them can I get in the cone? You have to declare that for me. Two? Uh two right now, yeah. Uh I'm two gonna unload my clip. Okay. My, I'm gonna unload my drum. Unload your drum Fifty at shots. two of them. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Just wanna go over. No, the, that's what, no, yeah. no, you're doing it right. Yeah, I, do it right I need to time. be patient. This is the yeah. worst part. Okay, so Loveridge has declared his action. Mackenzie. I'm going to throw a co- uh, I'm gonna throw a gr- grenade down the down the cave. <laughs> a nice and try cone. to land it right in the middle <laughs> of them. Try, as best you try can. and land it right in the middle of cool. them. Cool. Yep. Um, they are charging. So Commander Llewellyn, what is your intention? I am going to ready my Tommy gun and unload follow Loveridge. Okay. Um, when you do that you have to declare how many bullets you're firing i'm gonna empty the are you using a clip or a drum drum okay so you got 50 yeah or just sure helping out. sure 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 um yeah so um so f- we're a into first firing round a d50 is not a thing so i'm just gonna roll percentage and half that i can no i can't um, does that, that make sense doesn't. it's fine i, I um, could find you a d50 so i literally cannot miss you literally cannot i have miss. a 320 percent Seems a bit crazy, but okay. Yeah. Actually, you could probably tell me that I can't fire the whole drum. I mean, it seems like a lot of bullets to unload Maybe in 20? a single action. 25? Let's, let's put it at 20. Okay, that's fine. That still puts me at 180. Okay. I hit with a 64. All right. Um, which is not an impale. So you're rolling? Uh, I'm going to roll a d20. Two bullets hit. <laughs> Look, uh, so uh, I'm going to say one in each of them. That's the power of prayer. He's he's using cover 12, fire. 12. Twelve. That's a good shot. That is a good shot. And that's on the big one, hopefully. And seven. Okay. You know what? I don't care. It's dark. I just wanted to put a bunch of bullets out there. Sure. I have succeeded in my mission. There you go. There you go. Uh, so actually, Jack, you don't go off on firing. You'll go off on regular round. Okay. Because you, you're using a throw action. Okay. Do you have right. throw? Please tell me you have throw. It's alphabetical. It's not a combat skill. Not really, no. Let's see you're at a 25%. That's, That's 25%. you know. Whatever. All right. Um, okay, so, so what, ha- wait a minute. No what happens no if I fail the throw? Nothing. It, yeah. it, it, might, dro- it, might, it might go off. It, it might go like you're throwing here, but you accidentally throw over there, or you throw too far, or you throw how, it too short. How wide is the cave, though? Um. Probably about, yeah. Okay, a critical fail. If I a roll a zero, if it you roll drops at my you, feet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That is accurate. Okay. So if, I roll, so if I roll a 26 on a 25, I'm probably just going to overshoot the target. And oh, not or, or be off enough that you're not going to hit all three of them. John might let you have some of them, some of them because it's an explosion. But yeah, yeah got that it. would be the okay. idea. Okay, got it. Uh, so right. Llewellyn, you get to fire this. All right, so with how does this the full auto work? Uh, uh, you ch- you're going to roll. You add... Five percent for each bullet you're firing, so you'll add a hundred to your okay. skill. What's your what's that put your skill at? That puts my skill at a whopping hundred twenty six. Okay, so you roll your percentage like normal. And just hope you don't get an all zeros. Seventy three. Cool. Actually if he gets a quarter or a fifth of that, he still gets impaled. So that's actually I guess kind of it's two so two two uh, two sides. Now that. you roll a dice equal to the number of bullets you fired. So you fire twenty. Two <laughs> So you get two hits. <laughs> We're doing great. 
All right, now roll the damage. So it's a D10 plus two. Archaeologists years from now are going to find Six the damage six. and eight damage. Um, the, the area of, of, of explosion is four yards or four meters on the pineapple grenade. Which is what you guys are armed with? Yeah. Cool. Um, Jack, what's your strength? Uh, strength is 14. So he'll be able to throw it a ma uh, 13 yards. I can throw it 10 because of my strength. Okay. Um, and then it'll be a blast radius of four yards. Sure. To give you a, a round yeah. idea. So when yeah. he does potentially fail this, like give you an idea of like, well, it went way over there, but let's be honest that the one guy might get hit by some of the shrapnel sure. or not. You know. So four, four yards, yards mm -hmm. is the range of the explosion. It, it is the area of, of explosion. And he, could, and he could throw it 13 yards? He can throw it 13 yards. All right. Uh, go ahead and give us a roll there because okay. we're up to your action there, uh, Captain McKenzie. Uh, I fail. 65. Wow. Out of? Out of 25. All right. You got a D12? Uh, I do have a D12. Give us a scatter die. What? How many yards it gives? Yeah. You want to roll high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you roll high. Really high. 10. Cool. Oh, I was hoping for two. Why so don't you hope for we would have all died? Things. Well, so no, no, because then it would have uh, been twos all around. It would have been oh, funny. Yeah, yeah, it would have yeah, been yeah. funny. Still roll your damage. Roll my damage. And Four d six damage. Four d six. Four d six. Two threes, two ones for a total of eight. All right. <laughs> did they? Um, so where where did that go? Uh, it went past them. Uh, I, I yeah, overthrew. You okay. overthrew the one. Uh, I was probably a little angry and panicked. So yeah, 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 that makes sense. That makes sense. The one that you had not gotten, the two of you had not gotten in your cone, sure. um, stumbles a little bit. It's hard to, it's hard to say the word. It's hard to call it a stumble since he doesn't ever since actually touch flying. the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, hovering, hovering. You know. He stumble hovers. Yeah, he hover stumbles. H so he hum suggests that he doesn't move forward or backwards. He just stays in one place. They are moving towards us, right? Sure. He <laughs> humbles. He, he humbles. Stubbers. 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 Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So he he seems to react to it. Kind of uh, gets thrown against the wall and you know pushes off of it and renews his charge. Um, at which point they close in on you guys. By us, uh, what about sure. I mean, the rest uh, of our... Yeah, do they get to fire? At least the soldiers, maybe? Um, I guess the soldiers would have the option to fire, yes. What's they... your command at, uh, Reese? Command? I'm not sure that's the one I had grabbed. It's two below climb. Oh, uh, it's at a 12%. Mine's at 8. I'm at 14. Okay. So their ba base for the rifle is going to be... 25, assuming they went through training, probably 40, maybe. We can use command in place of their skill if it's higher. Sure. <laughs> Which none of us are good at. <laughs> Go well, do that. What? Well, well, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna harken back to the the last uh, session we had, uh, yeah. last recording session we had. Yeah. Um, Wolves' natural bite is 30, so yeah. I'm gonna go with uh, they've got a 30. Sure. I'm gonna roll on that real quick. I'll roll for one. I'll roll for one. Okay. Nope. That's a 97. There are, there, there's two more you could roll. Oh, I can roll. Yeah, feel free. All right. Seven. Uh, s 19. Eight. No, 79. 79. I'm sorry. 79. 79. Yeah. That, that's, that's a right. You got another one. one. Roll for that one. Oh. I have missed. missed. I got a 97. So we got one. 89. One. Hey, that, that, uh, wait. Take it. Me yeah, you hit. Yeah, so it's I'm, a D10 I'm, uh, plus. I'm doing math because that's close to. Th uh, no. No, it's not. No. Not quite. Two, one more. All right. Roll uh, another one. No, no, no. Roll no, your no, damage. Roll damage. Oh, okay. Uh, is this a rifle or is it a machine gun? John, that's uh, you. Rifle. Okay. So D10, whatever yours says. Oh, I have a Lee Enfield rifle, which yeah. is 2D standard for this. Oh, yeah, 2D6. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Rifles are nasty. Six. 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 So six and six and four is 16. Wow. Number one player on our team is the NPC. <laughs> name, name was NPC Soldier. Hey, one I, out of four is all right. No, he did certainly. more damage than the grenade uh, <laughs> or either uh, of our yeah. 20 round full autos. Yeah, um, one, of the, one of the beasts goes down. The big one is still standing and the one off to the side or the, the other one. That hit, got hit with the grenade. Hit with the grenade. Okay. Still standing. All right. I rolled a D3 to pick. That's fine. Well, I'm fine with uh, hey, two, two out of three. 
ain't bad. Ask me. No, no, no. Two out of three are alive. That yeah. is bad. Oh, no, that's yeah. Better. But we took down one out of three, and yeah. that would put us in the Hall of Fame if we were playing baseball. So, thirty-three <laughs> percent. Yeah, and a third. All right. Repeat. <laughs> um, forever. Forever. Okay. So, so. who who's going to be first in line? You think? I'll go. Uh, probably the two yeah. of you, two of you guys. Oh no! I was I threw the grenade. I probably stepped forward to throw that grenade to begin with. I'm and probably you're, right. you're, you're probably you're, you're, you're probably in front, and I'm probably like right alongside. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm probably right next to you. All right. Um, so the they are can... they are coming at you with some claws. Okay. Uh, Do I need a dex roll on this? It's a dodge. You can yeah dodge. Oh, dodge roll. Okay. Uh, Dex plus two percent, so times two <laughs> times oh times two twenty four. The eye of Azathoth is, the, the, is zero. a zero, so I got a one. Oh, <laughs> uh, I got a. You know what? Uh, the blue dice go to Matt. The green dice go. Uh, <laughs> now that I know, I got a one, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you're wearing a blue shirt and he's wearing and, and I'm wearing, a green, wearing a green sweater. So yeah. okay, that's that's, that's, that's less that's less arbitrary. Uh, yeah. That's a, that, there's some logic. There. The other one got a twenty three, so they both hit. I failed my dodge. Nice. Did you dodge yet? Not Eight, yet. Eighty nine. Uh, seventy three. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just kind of standing there going, ah. Are you oh, looking I'm, for that DA? Yeah, I am. I am. I forgot how loud grenades are in closed areas. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the good news is uh, claws don't impale. No. <laughs> okay, so I take six. It seems uh, really arbitrary. Uh, it does. Our claws do nothing but impale. But they can't, like, impale. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Take, uh, Ed takes six. Matt takes four. Oh, thank God. Okay, so that's one. I need to mark these as wounds. Okay. Roll another. So roll it's, it's important to mark them as, as individual wounds because we heal each individual wound separately. So, for instance, if, if now I get shot and stabbed, I have three wounds. Uh, each. Okay, one so, so I should put, a like, a line. Yeah, I don't know how. There's no good way to, to mark it. I just kind of put a box around it, like a light box, because we're going to end up erasing it. Well, I, well, I, I just I drew a line to say, sure. okay, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was one wound. Uh, yeah. I've used brackets. First, okay, uh, yeah, hold yeah. on. Ed. Uh, did you start with the one in the circle? Yeah, that's yeah. your first hit point. So one, oh, two. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got it. Erase that last one. <laughs> yeah. okay. Don't take too much. <laughs> yeah. Um, is okay. the big one on me or the, the not big one on me? Um, that's your call. I'm just curious. Sometimes I ask questions just for visual. Yeah. Uh, one or two, Matt? One. Uh, the big one is not on you. Okay. Sorry, Ed. All right. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so we are in... Uh, oh, so you, you fired. They had not closed. So you couldn't possibly have meleeed them. They have closed now. So Llewellyn, uh, Commander Llewellyn, you have the option to melee at this point, correct? Or no, he's already fired. That is, is his entire round when, entire you, use when you use a submachine gun. When you use a submachine gun, okay. Um, we're top of the next round. We're top of the next round. Okay. Unless so unless you're going to let the the village people fire, but they're probably just firing. They're going to be too scared. That's um, fine. Yeah. Or the dog to attack. <laughs> but it's the dog could attack. You want you want to? Yes, see I want to roll for the does? dog. Roll for Rimco. Thirty. Eighty. Nice. <laughs> Rimco's Rimco's a little hurt. Yeah, it's he's, okay. He's a little rattled okay. still. Um, Don't worry, boy. We're going to get you yeah. back safe. Uh, so top of the round, Loveridge, state your action. Uh, machine gun into the one directly in front of me. Okay. Uh, McKenzie? Uh, M29, directly into the biggin. Okay. Uh, they are going to continue to claw, you, claw at you two. Mm -hmm. And Commander Llewellyn, you are I'm, um, unoccupied. Is it possible to open up on one of them without da in danger of shooting the... It's your call. Because they are, they are bigger than I uh, than we are, so yeah. that's really your call. I'm gonna say auto fire is ill advised. It's ill advised. Beca that's fair. <laughs> that's very. <laughs> fair. I'm gonna say like you could you could switch to your handgun. Yeah. Or or he could just fire one. Like, these fire are semi one, yeah, as well. Fire one round. I'm gonna as a normal switch bullet. to the handgun because I will not hit with this. Yeah. Okay. That's so. Fair. Okay. In that case, since we're in just declaring yeah. actions, firing round. Mm -hmm will be when you're switching, you will get to the, if we get to the melee, then you will have your handgun and you can fire off at that okay. point. Fair enough? That sounds great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so that's 
actions. So, uh, now, do I need to worry about switching because I threw a grenade? I figure I threw the grenade and immediately pulled my... Are you, are you firing a pistol or a, a machine gun? Um, I'm going to be firing a pistol. Yeah, so you could have had the pistol out and pulled the grenade with the pistol out. Right. That shouldn't have been a problem. Yeah. That, that sounds yeah, Sorry. That's fine. I, I, I don't think my end field would be a good choice in this Ew. close combat no. sort of scenario. Yeah. yeah. All right, so leverage. You're I'm going to put 20 into it because okay. it's, yeah. 40. <sighs> under? Uh, under 80. Uh, no, under 180. Yeah. So that is impale. Cool. So what? One. Six. I'll take six. Two. I think I kill it, but I don't Maybe. care. 14, 18, 21, 23, 27 plus uh, 12 is 39, 39. doubled because yep. of impale. Is ninety? Uh, no, seventy-eight. 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 Is that enough? That's enough. Is that? It, did I kill it? You killed it. It's dead. Yeah. Uh, I would say probably like the first five or six hit it, or the first four probably hit it and it started to fall, and I just like stepped up over it and kept firing in. Sure. Yeah. Probably. Oh no! That yeah. 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 Uh, you were making Wendigo jerky at that point. Yeah. yeah. All right, McKenzie. Yeah. All right. Um, so. Sorry, what am I rolling here? I'm uh, D percentile. Percentile. Yeah. There we go. The one right in front of you. There it is. Oh, okay. Got it. Oh no, that was it. That was shit. Never mind. All right. Uh, ninety. Nine. Ninety. Nine. Ninety-nine or nine? Ninety. That's double zero. Oh, that's double zero. Nine. That's a nine. Ha <laughs> Nine. Woo! Okay. And what's what your, your percentage on handgun? My percentage on handgun is seventy-two. That's impale. That's yeah. impale. So you're going to double whatever damage you do roll. Cool. Uh, 2d6 plus 1. Uh, 7 uh, times 2 is 14, 14. plus 1 is 15. No, no. 16. You add the plus 1 before oh. you double. 16. There you go. I do 16 damage. Yeah. I would hope that kills it. Yeah, that, that <laughs> kills it. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like counting hit Metagaming, points, but yeah. good God. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. So uh, all three beasts are down. It, it took you 20 shots. It took me one. <laughs> <laughs> one but and a grenade. One and a grenade. Fair no, enough. Actually, no, it no, only no, no, took no, no, him no. six shots. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Three shots. W one from each of them. Yeah. And then yeah. your own. Yeah. And then yeah, your yeah, bullet. Yeah. Sure, sure. Three, sure, three sure. bullets killed this guy. But but you, you like, he, <laughs> when, when you shot him, like, peck and, like, side, and you just put it up under his chin and was like, bang. <laughs> <laughs> it was a smart. Gun, no. He gun cotted it. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So, I mean, do you want to wrap it up there? Do you want to hear the aftermath? Let's go ahead and we'll wrap it up here, and we'll be back next week to find out how this all plays out. <laughs> And that will do it for us tonight on the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Remember, you can email us at nerdsdomain at gmail.com or find us over on Facebook and Twitter at facebook.com slash nerdsdomain and twitter.com slash nerdsdomain. You can also check out our site at nerdsdom.com. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter while you're there. You can head over to iTunes and give us a five-star rating. We want to thank Passion Nerdly for our music. Don't forget, you can support us at patreon.com slash nerdsdomain and check out our shirts at TeePublic. <laughs>